Greetings. How many of you all watched the game last night between that of Golden State and the Minnesota Timberwolves? Or if you didn't watch the game, maybe you watched the videos and all of the uh, things that took place on social media pertaining to the game last night. <clears throat> Let me just say this. Clay Thompson is one of the most mild-mannered individuals that has ever graced the game of basketball, hands down. Like the guy goes out, he gives 110% of effort. He's no nonsense. He's not out there. He's not trying to cause a ruckus. He's not getting into any trouble whatsoever. It's not indicative of his character to go out to cause problems. From what I saw last night, uh, this guy by the name of Jaden McDaniel was the aggressor. Um, and the NBA has really changed. Like, a lot of these guys I see come into the NBA, I mean, I don't necessarily have anything against tattoos because should I have them? Uh, I got them back. Uh, my, the tattoos I have been on me for over 30 years. A lot of those guys, uh, my tattoos are older than most of the guys that are actually playing in the NBA. But what I'm saying is the, there's a certain phenom, there's a, there's a certain character that goes on with – uh, a lot of these guys that come into the NBA, um, they, uh, they have this, uh, they, they want to bring the street mentality to the business of the NBA. Clay Thompson is the complete opposite of all of that, that you would actually see transpiring in the NBA. That's not indicative of Clay Thompson's character. Like I said, what we saw last night was a guy, uh, Jaden McDaniel, who overplayed a situation, and he told Clay uh, Jersey off of him and all of this stuff, you know, want to fight and all of this. This is just typical street shit. We call it nigga shit that he brought to the NBA. Now, here we have Rudy Gobert, who comes in, who's always been relatively suspect to me. But Rudy Gobert um, got involved with the, with the, with the situation and – Draymond Green put him in a uh, modified chokehold, and the coaches had to intervene, as you see, and, um, um, you know, defuse the situation. You know, Draymond Green, I, 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 this is my take on it. If I had to go, you know, throw hands, I'm taking the, the Draymond with me. I mean, Draymond is the type of guy, man, if you got anything, you got to go take care of business, he's going to show up. So, uh, I'll, kudos to Draymond for stepping in for his uh, for his brother. Because you know what? Draymond is a type of guy. I don't really know his background, but he just seems like that street mentality. He saw that the guy who wanted to interject a street mentality was trying to be over aggressive with that of uh, Clay Thompson. So Draymond stepped in and did what Draymond was supposed to do, and that was protect his little brother. Let me just say this. I am a diehard Golden State fan. I love me some Golden State. And I just, I appreciate what uh, Draymond did. Uh, so, you know, uh, Clay, just, you know, protect yourself. Understand that the rules of the game, the dynamics of the game has, has abruptly changed. You see it. You know, you got to say you got people like Clay just go out. He's not going to get in any trouble. He's not going to go out there. He's not going to be throwing elbows. He's not going to be doing the, the bullshit. He's uh, being attacked now by individuals tattooed up and coming into the fucking NBA, bringing that street shit to the NBA. Anyway, it's just my take on it. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, comment below, and we'll see you next time. I'm Chris Miles for the Chris Miles Show. The Moving Finger Rights has written moves on. You all probably hear my bulldog in the background snoring like a fucking human. But uh, it's, it's 4 day in the morning, and I'm up uh, working on content and that kind of thing. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. Everybody uh, take care. Enjoy your day. Once again, the Moving Finger Rights has written moves on to all of you. Good day.